Hi everyone, it's Terry. I hope everyone's doing well. I just thought I would do a quick um, haul of Dollarama. So the first thing I got were, the, were these owls. Uh, they're wooden embellishments, craft, and they are $1.25. So what I thought I'd do with these is I can paint some of them or just leave them as is. And I will probably give a couple away in my giveaway when uh, once I reach 200 subscribers. So next thing I got, I bought this one today. And these last week, I believe. Uh, the reason I bought this one, when I saw it there, I thought, oh, I have to get it. So I thought I would grab it. And it's a hand. And I thought I could use... Uh, this in my coronavirus junk journal um, because we have to wash our hands so many times every day now. I just thought I would like maybe stamp it with different paper and just spread them throughout the book. And then I got these last week and the main reason I got these is for the paw. I have several layouts uh, for my pets but no paw. I, uh, I don't have a stamp either so I thought I'd get that. And then the other three punches were a bonus. I like the heart one. I think I have a heart that size already so if I do I might give it away. Okay then I got uh, some ribbon $1.50 and it's green and it's it has the look of burlap to it with lace on it. Green burlap with lace. I've been starting to use a ribbon a little bit more in my crafts. So $1.50 and it's uh, from Craft. Then this is a repurchase. I needed some more of this. I used a lot in my when I was working on my coronavirus album today. And then I got these stickers. So these are called from Sticka. So it's 35 plus stickers. And they're um, like they look, I don't know if the right word is metallic or not. It just says stickers. Anyway, I thought these were kind of cute, like kind of whimsical. And I'll be able to use these in uh, my planner, my junk journals, my scrapbooking. So I thought I'd get, got those. So anyway, I got these uh, stickers as well because they're very summery. Remind me of summer. And it's got the flamingos, which are very popular right now. Uh, last year it was uh, llamas. This year it's flamingos. And it's got the toucan bird. Some greenery, ice cream cones, pineapples. So again, I can use these in my planner, my junk journals, and my scrapbooking. I then got uh, these uh, sticker. It says craft sticker from craft. And they're $1.25. I got a silver one and a gold one. I was only going to get the silver one and I thought well I better get the gold one now because more than likely it won't be there when I decide I want it. So anyway this has like alphabet, uh, phrases and words and designs, some numerals and the silver one's exactly the same stickers just in silver. Now I'm gonna go into my Dollar Tree haul. Okay, so then I got these. These are 12 by 12 frames. And uh, the reason I got these is, uh, if you remember a few hauls ago, I showed some calendars that I got from Dollar Tree and uh, I want to hang some of them up 
uh, not the whole calendar. I am not going to use it for a, a collage like the frame suggests. I'm going to use it to put in um, the calendar pages, some of them. And I bought three. And I'm so glad I did because I went back there today. I would have got a couple more. And they were sold out. So hopefully more come in. The only two things I got for crafting are this. It's six inch parchment paper squares. Now this can be used as for junk journaling or it could be used upstairs. So if I find I don't use it, I'll just put it upstairs and use it. So there's 50 sheets and there's six inches and they're squares. So parchment paper, I could even maybe um, stamp on it or something. I'll figure it out and then I got the last thing is this jot composition book it says smart is my superpower and basically the reason I got this well there's a couple reasons I can use the line paper in my junk journaling for tags or I can take some of it out and coffee dye it or I can use it to keep ideas in for all my crafts. Um, I can have ideas for junk journals I want to make or tags or whatever. I can use it to um, put ideas for my project life, for my uh, album I'm doing, my coronavirus, for um, making, I would really like to make a digital kit so I can put ideas in there for that. So guys, I'm gonna show you my thrift store haul uh, right now. I, it's from two different thrift stores. My two favorite, and I've hauled things from them before. The Mission Thrift Store and Loads of Love. These aren't all from one day. They're from a couple days. So here we go. So I guess I'll show you this first. So I can put it out of the way. This is a flower press that was for $1.29. It does tell me how to use it. I tried pressing my own flowers with uh, in the summertime when we had little flowers. But I didn't have anything like this. I I think I just, what I did was um, put it in between paper towels and put a book on top of it. So needless to say, it didn't really turn out the best. So I'm going to try this. I never thought I'd be interested in putting dry flowers in my journal. But I want to try to put them in like a specimen card. So anyway, I got that. Uh, you can't, for $1.29. And then, and then I got this. It's a non-book. It's a uh, trading card pages. Um, so there's several ways I can use this in my crafting. I can use, it doesn't even look like it's been used at all. So if it hasn't, there's 10 pages in here. And I got it for dollar nineteen. So like I was saying, there's several ways I can do it. I can use it as a, use the slots as a ephemera holder, um, which I have already done in my ephemera book. I can use it in my uh, photo albums. I can use it in my project life album and I can use it I was thinking I could um, cut this out and use it in my specimen uh, cards when I get around to it. It's nice and clear and it's nice and thick. So just an idea. But either way, I'll be able to use it. Now where to put it. Okay, so we're on to the books. 
Let me just move this stuff here. Put this here. So this book is called Short Biographies for the People. And it's a uh, it's religious people. Luther, Calvin, Wycliffe, John Knox, Tyndale. So I just thought it looked interesting. And it says Thomas Cleland. Well, the preface says 1889. But I don't see I don't see a copyright date anywhere. It was published in London, the Religious Tract Society. There's some old tape on here. I'm gonna to try to take it off and save it and use it in a in a journal. Okay, so this one I got today. It's Reader's Digest, and I whenever I see a book that's a Reader's Digest. I always look at it because they have great books. Anyway, it's Why in the World? All you ever wanted to know about the world around you but may never have thought to ask. So let's see if there's a copyright date in here. Uh, 1994. But it's got some great pictures in it. That's the main reason I got it. These two pictures would be great in my coronavirus uh, journal. Yeah, I'm going to fussy cut them and use them. So that was okay. And all the books that are, are from, well, I bought some last week and they were half price last week. So the books that I bought last week were 75 cents each. And the ones I got today were $1.50. And then this one is your... Dream Home, How to Build It for Less Than $3,500 by Hubbard Cobb. But I really like this. I want to make some kind of like a home, home journal. So this would be a great cover for it. You know, that has kitchen stuff and living room stuff. It's got some illustrations. 1950. Really, 1950, you could build a house for less than $4,000. The paper is not shimmery, not glossy. It's a uh, matte feel. I like it. And the. I like that the words are pretty big so I can do a uh, fussy cutting of some of them. But yeah. There's too many pages I think to make it into a altered book. I have never done one, but I'm interested. Oh, I loving these plans. These floor plans. They're awesome. They'll be wonderful in a journal. So what date did I say it was? 1950? Yep. Printed in the United States. Then this one is one I got today. A junior school English course for grades 9 and 10. And this is, it says... Catherine McGugan, 1938. A junior school English course authorized by the Ministry of Education of Ontario. Price 60 cents. And this is, is 1938. It's got some nice pages. There's no, doesn't appear to be any illustrations in here. But I'll be able to use this somehow. The spine's pretty beat up, but 
Looks like a nice size book for a journal. And then the last one I got is Canadian Geographic 2003. So this is um, a book that has bound magazines from 2003 together. Um, but one of the main reasons I got it was for the advertising. Not that 2003 is going to have a lot of great advertising, but it's got some. But there's also some cool pictures in here. I'm not really much of using magazine. That would be nice. Magazine pictures in journals, but for $1.50 between the advertising and the, some of the pictures. Oh, that would be great. I am making a scrapbook album for all our camping trips. So that would be, it's very hard to find ephemera for camping. So now we're going on to the Loads of Love haul. So I got this border wallpaper for 50 cents. I have some more border wallpaper and I have yet to use it, so I'm gonna have to start using using it. Then I got these uh, field guides, I guess they are. A golden nature guide for 50 cents each. So these would be nice to have. I'm not a really bug a bug person, but for 50 cents I thought I'd give it a try. I mean, like, look at all the things I can fussy cut. So, this would be nice to have. I can use it as, use the pages as well. And 1956. So a year before I was born. So 64 years. And then this one's birds. And this is 1949. So this one is older than me. There's a lot of great pictures in here. I'm just hurrying up because my I just got a flash that my battery's almost dead. And then for 50 cents at that store if you want to use debit you have well they don't take cash, but you have to spend $5 before you can use your debit card. So I had to find things to buy. So I just got another bird book for 50 cents. It has some pretty nice pictures in it. Then I got this. So if my camera just stops, guys, it's just because my battery died. And I got this Betty Crocker's Cake and Frosty Mix Cookbook. Um, says 1966. But yeah, it's got some nice pictures in here too. And I can fussy cut some of the things that are in here. Yeah. And then I got, the last thing I got was these four little golden books. Alice Wonderland, which I don't think I have. And they were all 50 cents. Uh, so this one is 18th printing, 1981. The Pokey Little Puppy. Uh, 1970, The Jungle Book, 40th Anniversary, 2003, and Little Cottontail. And this is 1961. So my friends, I'm going to go before my battery dies. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for staying to the end. 